209 police say they were forced to open fire in a northwest Miami Dade neighborhood when a suspect refused their commands. Officials say that man had a gun and did not know what he planned to do with it. Seven Zinia Garcia is live outside Jackson Memorial Hospital where he was taken. Danielle, good morning. Good morning, ladies. That's right. It all started as a traffic stop, but the guy didn't stop. He ran away from his car in a park filled with kids and armed with a gun. And that is when officers say they were forced to fire. Video captures Miami-Dade police officers telling a suspect to drop his gun. When he didn't, this is what happened. He froze the video before the man falls to the ground. Here's another view of the Wednesday night police-involved shooting, which played out in Northwest Miami-Dade's Brownsville neighborhood. Station 2, the rescue person shot at Northwest 50th Street and 24th Avenue Station 2. Children were playing basketball at Marva Y. Bannerman Park. Ronald Johnson was headed to a meeting at the Circle of Brotherhood, a group which tries to combat violence among black men. And all the other police just came and surrounded me as if I did something wrong. And then they just got the car, had to move their cars, to have me go around the block. I thought they was coming after me, and I was like, what did I do wrong? Police say this started with a traffic stop, but the suspect wouldn't pull over and took off instead. They say he went on to hit a parked car and then got out of his own, running through the park, gun in hand. At the end of the day, you have an individual that's fleeing from officers with a firearm in their hand. You, you don't know what that person's intentions are at the time. Investigators say police were forced to fire and no children were injured. You, of course, see him running through a park where you are visually seeing children playing. You know, that's, that's something that clearly is of concern. The suspect was taken to Jackson Memorial Hospital in critical condition. As police combed for clues on scene, they say they recovered the suspect's gun left behind. Residents rattled but not shocked. They come out in full force like army. Like, like, you know, like a hit squad almost, unfortunately. But I guess they're doing their job. Yeah. It happens all the time. Here. So as of this morning, it remains unclear why officers opened fire and if they were the only ones to do so. Now the Florida Department of Law Enforcement is investigating. Reporting live at Jackson Memorial Hospital, I'm Danielle Garcia, today in Florida.